Well, tonight we wrap up our annual Salute to Heroes series, and Kenny's been profiling each of this year's honorees. They're chosen by the American Red Cross, and this is your seventh and final one. Yes, it is. I'm excited with the way the project turned out this year. Tonight, also one of our most powerful Salute to Heroes stories. This is about an Air Force veteran from the Piedmont Triad who has spent the last year plus making a special instrument so that his Army veteran friend can play music again. For as long as he can remember, Mike Conrad has loved music. That's him playing the bass at church. For decades, he's played, he's sung, he's practiced, and he's loved it. But all of this is from before February of 2018. That's when he suffered a stroke during quadruple bypass surgery. Today, he's in a wheelchair with virtually no use of his left side and vision problems. A devastating turn for this Army veteran who served our country from 1975 to 1979. That's where his longtime friend Brian Mobley comes in. Had to think of a way to bring him back into the circle of music. Brian served in the Air Force and works with fellow veterans through the Lexington NC Works Office. Despite all of his connections, he couldn't find any group or person making adaptive musical instruments for vets. So he decided to build one himself. You've got to figure out how do you, you know, pluck the note, sustain the note, and change the notes. Uh, and so this was really a journey in trying to figure out how do we do that for a one, one-handed person. It took a year, a lot of trial and error, and a lot of help. But eventually, this one-stringed diddly bow was born. That's Gary Miller playing it. He's a musician and a good friend of Brian and Mike's. The trick to it is this little block right here with the metal slide in it. What it does, it just slides right on this guitar neck where it can't get away, and you just slide back and forth for your note. In mid-September, Mike and his wife flew from Texas to North Carolina to visit their friends, receive the custom diddly bow, and learn how to play. Here's what happened. Yeah, way up there. Way up there. Is that a smile I see, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big smile. That's a big smile. It would take just a little bit of time to figure out where all the notes are. But once you get it figured out, you can just play the thing like he was playing mm -hmm. Amazing Grace. You gotta find the first note. How does it feel to have music back and have a new avenue toward playing again? It's kind of like getting your breath back when you're out of wind. How does it feel to be able to help your friend? <laughs> well, you know, that that's just the way really veterans are. You know, they, they, they don't leave anybody behind. You know, they, they help each other. That's, that's all I know to say about that. Brian is now working with the VA in Fort Worth, Texas, in hopes of continuing Mike's music therapy. But for him, this doesn't stop there. He wants to build a program there, then expand it nationwide so that other veterans with various injuries could either get back into music or perhaps discover music using these adaptive instruments. If you'd like to reach out to Brian Mobley, we've posted his email address in this story on our website, WXII12.com.